Good afternoon, everyone. Today we have Brianna McDaniel reading her book, Hands Up. Brianna McDaniel is an author and children's literature scholar. She's an Oxford Emory alumna with a Bachelor's of Arts degree in English Literature. She holds an MA in Children's Literature from Simmons University and is currently pursuing her PhD at the University of Cambridge, where her <laughs> research focuses on representations of Black children found in contemporary picture books. Brianna wrote Hands Up, hoping to emphasize slice of life moments where a simple but powerful movement means so much. Please stay with us after reading, after the reading as Brianna will share her author's notes and offer Q&A. Thank you, Brianna. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Thank you all for being here. Um, I'm really excited to share my book with you. As Tammy said, I'm currently, um, working on my PhD in children's literature. And so it's always nice when I can put down my dissertation, my very big paper, and just say, it's time to read the actual books I'm studying. So I wrote this picture book, Hands Up, and um, I actually wrote it before, I started writing it a little bit before 2014. But um, when I first started writing it, it was actually a, a short story called Rise Up. Um, and then 17 drafts later, I came forward with this book, which is published um, by Penguin and Random House or Dial, which is an imprint of Penguin and Random House. Um, it's about a little girl whose name is Viv, V-I-V. Um, and throughout the book, you'll see that there is a letter that comes up right here in different ways in her clothing. So if you're eating and you're snacking and you're watching, point it out. I might not see you, but I'll feel you saying, ooh, there's a V, there's a V. Um, and then as Tammy said, it's a slice of life book celebrating all of the different ways that we put our hands up. Um, and it really pulls from my personal experiences, getting my hair done by my grandmother, um, my uncle yelling defense, defense, defense on the sidelines as my uh, cousins are playing basketball. And then at the very end, it ends with an experience um, that I actually had in Atlanta when I was um, at a protest and there were little, um, little ones who had signs and were leading the way. So I will get started and I hope you enjoy it. And if you feel like you want to read along with me, the refrain is hands up and you can put your hands up like you're a ballerina or you can put your hands up like you're doing defense, defense as I read along. Okay. So this book is Hands Up, written by Brianna J. McDaniel. That's me. And illustrated by Shane W. Evans. Okay, let's see if, make sure y'all can see it. Greet the sun, bold and bright, tiny hands up. Nice. Here we go. Uh-oh. Let's see. <laughs> Peekaboo! Hands up. <laughs> I call this my daddy voice. Are you all ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Morning, baby. Time to get dressed. Hands up. Stretch high, almost there. Hands up. Uh-oh, gotta get clean. Reach for the sink, hands up. This is one of my favorite spreads. This is my grandma voice. Come on now, little one, dry your tears. Here, hold the bun, hands up. 
There we go. Pull your hair up into a nice high bun. <clears throat> Ready for takeoff. Hands up. Do you see the V? Oh, I might be hiding the V with my hand. <laughs> Oh, oh, pick me, Miss B, please. Got my hands up. And Miss B is my mom. She is a teacher and they called her Miss B. Adventure books live up top. Reach high, tippy toes, hands up. Graceful like Miss Misty, fifth position, hands up now i always like to tell this little story because in boston in amherst massachusetts there is a brown girl ballerina um studio and they actually created a movement song to go along with the book and when i went up there to read the book at the eric carl museum i did what i thought was fifth position and they very quickly corrected me so I will show you later if you ask, um, but also to that studio. Hello and thank you. <laughs> Racing fast, wind whistling, hands up. What do we think is gonna happen? Let's see, turn the page. Oh, she fell, but you know what? It's all right, baby girl. I'll help. Hands up. The music flows through us. Amazing grace. In praise and worship, hands up. On the court, fired up, jump ball, hands up. I think that you have to mute your, you have to mute your um, video. Otherwise, the person who has um, video talking will stay up. On top of the world, Trophy to the sky, hands up. That's a nice trophy. That's what they always say when I show that page. That's a nice trophy. <laughs> I like it too. We begin small, but we grow big. Together, we are mighty. High fives all around, hands up. And I just want to say that I was inspired by the urban farm um, in College Park, Georgia, which is where I'm from. I'm from College Park. And I was inspired by that urban garden for this beautiful, beautiful spread. Shane created it, but the words that I created, <laughs> that I created, I was inspired for. So Shane did the beautiful illustrations. <laughs> And then as one, we say, hands up. And so we have signs that I think are really, really important for us to think about right now, um, as we are all um, either at home or somewhere with family. We think about spreading love. We think about how water is life. We think about loving your neighbor. We think about how no human is illegal. And that's what that sign says in Spanish there. We think about how black lives matter. We think about lifting every voice. And you see who's lifting that voice, who's lifting up that sign, the little girl, Viv. And we also think about, can you see that little bitty, that little, you think about love, right? So 
that is the end. And before we start with the questions, I will share with you a little bit from the author's note. Dear friends, that is all of you here. <laughs> My niece Taylor's smile is warm like the Georgia sun in July. And if you're from Georgia, you know that that sun is warm. She is mischievous and snuggly. She's eager to explore new things, but she does know that her mom's warmth is nearby if news starts to feel a little scary. She's cheerful and clever and sometimes stubborn. Taylor is awesome. Sometimes I worry though, that this world is not a place where Taylor can show all her joy, how smart she is and how strong she is without being seen as a problem. All because she's black and a girl. I worry that this world casts black kids as victims, villains, or simply adults before they're grown up. And because of that, sometimes they don't get a chance to grow up at all. For many people, the phrase hands up brings forward difficult emotions like anger, sadness, frustration, and fear. With this story, I wanted to keep that meaning, those meanings, but I also wanted to emphasize the ways I have experienced that phrase as a part of my everyday life at home, at play, in church, and at protest with young people leading the way, like the one I told you about earlier. I want the world to remember that Black kids are just that, kids, people with mamas and daddies and teachers and friends, with lives full of happiness and struggle and triumph and even sometimes sadness. This is for my kids that are here. Journey, this is for you, I'm talking to you. Journey, I know you see and understand far more than a lot of us adults think you do. This book is my chance to tell you <clears throat> woo, just how important your voice and your life is, your health and your happiness, your agency and how human you are, you make our world whole. You matter. Your joy will be celebrated. Your struggles will be supported. Journey, your love will be returned. You deserve to thrive. Love and light, Brianna J. McDaniel. That's the end. <laughs> Tammy, are you still here? Donna, so much. Okay. I'm gonna check our chat to see if there are any okay. questions or people can unmute themselves if they wanna just share a message or ask a question of our wonderful author. I'm monitoring the chat now or take yourself off of mute and give a shout out to Brianna. Sorry, I got a little teary. I don't know about you all, but because of everything that's happening, oftentimes, sometimes my emotion is coming out through like a little bit of leaking in my eyes. <laughs> and I'm so, so um, just grateful for everyone to be here. And I'm grateful that I got to share this story, which does mean so much to me. <laughs> awesome job, awesome job. Thank you, Miss Regina. <laughs> And I have I my book too. <laughs> I see some of uh, uh, Brianna's professors, uh, maybe Stacy and Dr. McQuaid. I see some of her classmates, like Adrian, um, and friends on here. Hi. Um, so before we we say thank you and farewell, any any last uh, questions or comments or Brianna last words to share? What do you want to say? I want to say that was really good. Thank you very much. What's your name? Serena. Hi, Sir. Ooh, Serena is a fantastic. Name. Hi, Brianna. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Brianna, we love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Love you Brianna, we do have a question Thank from you. someone that ha they've Welcome. asked. Um, Nikki asked, how yes. have children responded to the book? Oh, hi, Nikki. That's hi, a fantastic Brianna. question. 
Um, so, um, I, it's really interesting because most of the school visits that I have done have been on the West Coast. I actually haven't done a ton of school visits because usually they're invited visits. I haven't done a ton of visits on the East Coast or mm -hmm. in the um, South. So it's really interesting to go over to the West Coast and see that um, a lot of kids are really interested in the signs at the end. A lot of kids like to um, act out the actions that the little girl Viv, and so her name means life, right? V-I-V, so Viv is life. Um, and so you see the, these um, kids in these schools acting out her life right in front of us. And so that's really, um, that's really good. I have a lot of kids who ask me, um, what are you going to write next? And then before I can answer, they will tell me what I'm gonna write next, which is always <laughs> fun. I can write down some ideas. Um, there was in one school in Stockton, California, after I sang, um, the kids started saying, can you sing something else? And so I sang Georgia on my mind because Georgia is always on my mind wherever I am. Um, and then I think probably one of my favorite um, responses to the book, and I'm talking about school visits because that's how I usually get, you know, the interactions from the kids is when I'm right in front of them. Um, I went to, oh, thank you. <laughs> I went to um, a school here in DC, which is where I'm located right now. And a little girl came up to me after I was finished reading and she said, I'm a ballerina too. And it's because of that piece of um, the piece of the book, that page of the book where there, Viv is doing the fifth position. And I said, oh, I, I, I love ballerinas. I love Misty Copeland. Um, and I really think that that's fantastic that you're a ballerina, but I'm, I'm not a ballerina. So I, I admire what you do. I wish I could do it too. And so then she said, that's okay. And she gave me the most beautiful curtsy that has ever happened in the entire history of the world. And then I tried to curtsy too, and it wasn't as successful. But <laughs> I tried. I had on a very long skirt so she couldn't see that my feet were kind of like... <laughs> So, well, can we all give our hands up to Brianna? Show our appreciation Thank for you. your time and your talents and sharing those with us today. Um, we are so proud of you and all of your accomplishments. We wish you the very best as you continue your literary journey and as you complete your PhD. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, let us all go out and be more like Viv and um, share this with other people, share this book. And Brianna, thank you for sharing your joy and enthusiasm for life and making the world a better place. Take care and be well, everyone. Thank you. Be well, everyone. Sorry, my dog is like now. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye, Miss Mary. Bye.